This week, I bumped into Ibtisam Habib, founder of Hijabified. Hijabified was created to empower Muslim women and later East African women to live their best lives and not fall for societal peer pressure. We chat on why she started the channel. So the intention was always okay. Um, just showcase uh, different Muslim sisters dressing up modestly doing their thing. So I started posting my friends who are doctors, my friends who are architects. So I just started posting different girls to show that. And then, but in the caption, I would always try and also talk about how Muslim girls can do a lot more than what society back at home has been telling us. Racism in the Arab culture. And in, in my faith, you, you must get married to someone of your same faith. So mm. the, the guy must be Muslim too. So that's, the, that's what our faith asked us to do. When she went home and said she wanted to get married to a black Muslim brother, the mother said she would rather bring home a white non-Muslim. And I was like, hold up. Oh, hold up. for real? Yeah, so racism is, is ridiculous. But no one wants to talk about it. Patriarchy. Is it that when a woman's leading something, it becomes it's because of oh, her dad mm. or her husband? Or, so I just think it's a patriarchal society. So that's why you don't end up hearing about the women boss ladies that exist. But they are in plenty. Why hijabs are controversial to the West? <laughs> okay, that's fine. Do you realize France is now asking people to cover up though? Like, mask up. But people are now looking Muslim. Everyone's looking Muslim in France. So, <laughs> that's just them being Islamophobic. That's that's it. There's yeah. really just it's, no reason to explain it. Because if a woman can walk out in a bikini, I don't see why a woman cannot walk up covered. Like, that should be my right. right? Mm. If, if you're okay with me being at the beach wearing a bikini, a two-piece bikini, showing off my body why is it a problem with me choosing to not show my body i don't get i think it's just them being islamophobic that's my genuine two cents on why france thinks otherwise mm. and and in true i bumped into style we go deep is there something you're holding on to that you need to let go of <laughs> yo <laughs> <laughs> What's was uh, what she said. She said, and this is just my parting view, sorry, is that uh, you're one decision away from a better marriage, a better relationship with your sister, your brother, your parent, you know. Um, you want, you're just one decision away from having a better relationship with your children. I really enjoyed bumping into Ibtisam and having this insightful conversation around being a Muslim woman, Arab culture, Islamophobia. And if you find this podcast episode very interesting, let us know. My team and I are always willing to hear your views and learn. Comment and share it with someone who may need to hear it. Remember to stay safe and continue to light up the dark.